discuss to you on how to find distance between two points by using distance formula. Find the distance of the following. So before we are going to use the um, distance formula, let us find the following by using a Cartesian plane. So we are going to plot the points. The first given, we have 1, 3, and 5, 3, where 1 is x and 3 is y. Let us plot. 1, then 1, 2, 3. Then plot the points. So here are the points of 1 and positive 3. Next tayo, we have 5 and 3. 5 ang x mo, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then ang 3 mo is y. So taas tayo, 1, 2, 3. Tapat lang po. So, this is 5, 3. Yan. So, we are going to find this distance. Para mabilang natin yung distansya, so, gamitin natin yung Cartesian plane. So, from here hanggang dito, bilangin lang natin. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. So, the distance between 1 and 3 and 5, 3 is 4 units. Ganun lang po kasimple. Okay? So, 1, 3, and 5, 3, we have 4 units. Or simply, kapag po parehas kayo nakakita ng parehas na y, ano lang po ang gagawin nyo? You are going to solve for uh, distance using the absolute value of x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Yan. So, this one is x sub 1, and then this one is x sub 2. So, y absolute value? Kasi dapat, ang lagi natin sagot is positive. Okay? Tandaan yan, kapag parehas yung y niya. Ito yung ating gagamitin. So, let us have, let us solve. We have d is equal to the absolute value of x sub 1. We have 1, then minus, we have, 5. That is x sub 2. 1 minus 5, the answer is negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is positive 4 units. Okay? Is it clear? So, ang ating formula kapag parehas ang ating y is d is equal to the absolute value of x sub 1 minus x sub 2. Okay? Now, let's move with number 2. We have here negative 2 and 2. Let's plot the points of negative 2 and 2. We have negative 2, 1, ne negative 1, negative 2, then positive 2, we have 1, 2. So, tapat lang po natin. Ito. So, this one is negative 2 and positive 2. The next one, we have negative 2 and negative 3. So, negative 2 again, then negative 3 sa baba naman po. Yan. So, this one naman is negative 2 and negative 3. So, we are going to find for the distance of this line. Ayan. So, let's count using the Cartesian plane. So, from here, just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, therefore, ang kanyang distansya is 5 units. So, this is equal to 5 units. As you can see, yung kanya namang x ay parehas. So, kung ang kanyang x naman ay parehas, ang gagawin mo namang formula ay d is equal to the absolute value of y sub 1 minus y sub 2. Ganun lang kasimple. So, we have the absolute value of y sub 1. Ito, let's have it as y sub 1. We have here 2 minus y sub 2, we have negative 3. Then, kulong natin sa absolute value. Then, it is equal to the absolute value of 2. So, since negative times negative, it becomes positive. So, 2 plus 3. So, the absolute value of 2 plus 3 is equal to the absolute value of 5. So, absolute value of 5, we have positive 5 units. Ayan. So, this would be your formula kapag ang x mo ay parehas. Kapag naman ang y mo ay parehas, ito naman ang inyong formula for the 
distance para hindi ka na gumamit ng Cartesian plane. Is it clear? So, let's move with the next example. We have 0, 5, and 5, 4. So, pos positive naman sila. So, nasa 4 quadrant siya lahat. So, we have 0 and 5. So, why siya? We have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is 0 and 5. Next tayo, we have 5, 4. 5 ang x mo, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And ang y mo ay, we have here 4. Taas. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, plot lang po yung points na yan. Yan. So, this line yan. So, as you can see kanina, yung ating line ay straight line lang. Isang pa horizontal at saka isang pa vertical. Ngayon, nagka-create ka ngayon ng slant. So, this one is 5, 4. Kapag ganyan, nakakreate ka na ng slant at hindi magkaparehas ang inyong x, hindi rin magkaparehas ang inyong y, gagamit ka na ngayon ng distance formula. So, ano ngayon si distance formula? Ang distance formula is equal to d is equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. That is now your formula for us to find the distance between these two points. Is it clear? So, now, let us move to the solving of this um, points by using distance formula. Now, let us solve. We have here again your distance formula. Then, this is your given. So, this one is your x sub 1, then y sub 1. This is your x sub 2, then y sub 2. Let us now substitute. We have now your d is equal to the square root of your x sub 2. We have here 5 minus x sub 1. We have here 0, then squared. Do not forget the squared sign. Plus y sub 2, we have here 4. Then minus y sub 1, we have here 5. Then squared. Then it is equal to the square root of 5 minus 0, we have here 5. Squared. Plus 4 minus negative 5. 4 minus 5, sorry. That is negative 1. Okay? Then squared. Then, it is equal to the square root of, ang 5 squared, we have 25, so just simplify, plus 1 squared, that is 1. So, 25 plus 1, the answer is the square root of 26. Now, can you please find the factors such that C26 si ay, yung isa ay perfect square. So, ang mga factors is 26 ay, ano lang, 13 and 2. Ano pa? Wala na. Yan na lang yun. Tapos, 26 and 1. So, de, so, since wala naman siyang factor na ang isa ay perfect square, therefore, this is already your answer. The square root of 26 units. Okay? So, this is the distance between the points of 0, 5, and 5, 4. Is it clear? Now, let, uh, let us have more example. Let us have this example. Find the distance of the following points. Let us have the first one. We are going to find for the distance of point G and point, point H. So, the distance of GH ang ating hahanapin. So, itong D, pwede na natin to change as GH. Kasi meron naman na tayong name ng points. So, we have line segment GH is equal to the square root of this is your x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2. Okay. Paano kung yung tatanungin, kung ito yung tanong nyo? Ma'am, pwede po ba silang magkabaliktad? Yes, pwede silang magkabaliktad. Pwede ito yung gawin yung x sub 2, y sub 2. Pwede rin ito yung gamitin yung x sub 1, y sub 1. Okay? So, let us have this one. So, kung ano na yung arrangement, dyan na kayo para hindi na kayo malito pa. So, we have here x sub 2. Your x sub 2, we have here 2 minus positive 4 here. Then, squared. 
plus y sub 2, we have here positive 5 minus yung y, y sub 1 mo is negative 1. Okay, open and close parenthesis kasi negative. Then squared. Then we have here the square root of 2 minus 4, we have negative 2 squared plus... Then, this one, negative times negative becomes positive. No, so, magiging na siyang 5 plus 1. Then, squared. Then, simplify. So, this one is negative 2 squared. So, meaning, negative 2 times negative 2, we have positive 4. Then, this one is 5 plus 1. The answer here is 6. Then, 6 squared, meaning 6 times 6, we have 36. Then, just add. We have 4 plus 36. We have the square root of 4 plus 36. We have 40. Now, find the factors para mas mas simplified natin si square root of 40. So, ang factors ni 40 ay we have um, uh, 4 and 10. Ayan. So, si 4 and 10, si 4 is a perfect square and the other one as not. So, kailangan mo lang makakuha ng factors na ang isa ay perfect square. Tandaan yon, Okay? Para kapag ikay nagsisimplify ng radicals. So, ang ating factors ay si 4 multiplied by 10. Basta lagi mo i-consider na ang isa ay perfect square. Is it clear? So, we have the square root na 4. What's the square root of 4? We have 2. Yung 2, labas mo. So, 2. Then, ititira mo ngayon si square root of 10 units. Ayan. So, ito na yung, yung distance between point G and H. Is it clear? Okay. Next tayo. Number 2. Point F is 11 and 5 and point R is 4 and 5. As you can observe this one, yung y niya ay parehas. Okay? So, ating i-apply yung kanina. Yung d is equal to the absolute value of x sub 1 minus x sub 2. No, yan yung gagamitin natin. Okay? So, we have here fr. Yung distance ni fr is equal to the absolute value of ang x niya ay 11 minus 4. What's the absolute value of 11 minus 4? We have 7. Okay? So, therefore, si FR is equal to 7 units. Hmm, Ganun lang kasimple. That's the distance. Okay? Eh, ma'am, paano pag hindi ko naisip? Ang naisip ko is this distance formula. Hindi ko napansin na sila pala ay magkamuka. Po, pwede ka rin naman gumamit ng distance formula. Uh, let us try. Distance formula. Kung parehas yung kanyang magiging sagot. So, that's your formula. Ayan. Squared. Ayan. Let us substitute. X sub 2, we have this one, 4. Minus x sub 1 mo, we have 5. Then squared. Plus y sub 2 mo, we have here 5. Then minus, uh, sorry, 4 pala to and then we have 11. So we have here 5 and then we have here 5. Then squared. So equals to the square root of 4 minus 11. The answer here is negative 7 squared. Then, we have here 5 minus 5, we have plus 0 squared. Yan. Then, square root of, ang 7 squared, we have 49 plus 0. Diba? 0 squared is 0. So, we have here square root of 49. Now, si 49 is a perfect square. Ang square root ni 49 ay equal to 7. We have 7 units. So, parehas lang siya. Yun nga lang, mas mahaba yung inyong solution. So, kaya dapat mapansin mo agad na ang, pare ang y mo ay parehas. Para dito ka agad sa mas madaling formula. Is it clear? Let's move with the another example. Number 3. We have C is negative 3 and 2, then D is 9 and 7. Let's find the distance between C and D. We have the square root of x sub 2, we have here 9, 
minus, we have here negative 3. Then, squared. Plus, y sub 2, we have 7 minus positive 2. Then, squared. Then, square root of 9 para sa negative becomes positive. So, we have 9 plus 3, then squared. Then, plus 7 minus 2, we have here 5 squared. It is equal to the square root of 9 plus 3, we have here uh, 12, then squared. Plus 5 squared. Just copy. So, it is equal to, para sabay tayo. 12 squared, the answer is 144. Plus 5 squared, the answer is 25. Then, add. We have the square root of 169. 169 is a perfect square. Ang square root po ni 169, we have here 13. So, the answer is 13 units. Okay, next tayo, we have S, which is 4 and negative 2, and pointy, which is negative 1 and negative 7. Let us now find for the distance of ST. We have the square root of our X sub 2, we have here negative 1, then minus our X sub 1, we have positive 4. Then squared. Para di ka malito, lagyan mo ng X sub 1, Y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Ayan. Okay? Then, plus, your y sub 2, we have negative 7. Then, minus y sub 1, we have negative 2. Maglagay na open and close parenthesis kasi may negative. Squared. It is equal to negative 1 minus 4. The answer, since same sign siya, we have, you are going to add. Negative 5 squared. Plus, this one is negative 7. Ang dalawang negative magiging positive. That is positive 2 squared. Then simplify further. So we have here negative 5 squared. The answer here is positive 25. Meaning 5 times 5. Plus this one is negative 7 plus 2. Negative 7 plus 2. The answer here. Just subtract. The answer here is negative 5. Then squared. Okay? Then simplify. We have the square root of 25 plus 5 squared. We have here 25 then. Then 25 plus 25. So the answer here is the square root of 50. Now, let's find the factors of 50 such that yung isa is a perfect square. So the factors of 50 is 25 multiplied by 2. So, paano mo ba naiisip yung mga factors? So, kailangan alam mo yung mga perfect square. Ano-ano ba yung mga perfect square? We have, uh, wag ka na mag-start kay 1. Doon ka na kay 4, 9, uh, 3, 2 squared, 3 squared. So, this one is 16. Sunod, 5 squared. We have 25. Sunod ay 36. Sunod, 49. Sunod ay we have 64, then we have 81, we have 100. So, hahanap ka lang dyan, ano ba yung pwede ko i-divide kay 50? So, therefore, ang pwede mo i-divide kay 50 is 25. Okay? So, 25 times 2, the answer is 50. Since this one is a perfect square, ang square root ni 25, we have here 5. Then, square root of 2. So, 5 square root of 2 units. This is now your answer. Okay? So, that's all for the distance formula. So, hope you like this video and meron kayong natutunan with this video. Okay? So, please don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube. Thank you!